Hi everyone, Digistream Shoutcast hosting here to show you how to set up the DSP plugin for Winamp for setting up a Shoutcast server version 1 server. So the first thing you want to do, of course, uh, is to download Winamp by going to winamp.com and getting their player. You can either pay for it or you can get it for free. And you want to download that to your desktop and then install it. Once you have it installed, be sure to, um, to uh, close it down so that it's not open. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to this website that you see here on your screen called shoutcast.com. <clears throat> Once you're at this website, you'll see this uh, menu bar at the top here. Go ahead and click where it says Broadcast Now. And that'll take you to the next page. And you want to scroll down till you see this right here, Shoutcast DSP Plugin for Winamp. Go ahead and download that and save that to your desktop. And then once you have it saved to your desktop, go ahead and uh, install it. Now, this is why I need you to have Winamp, uh, you know, not running so that you can install it properly. Once you install the DSP plugin, go ahead and start up your Winamp. And so we're going to start ours up, and there it is. Now, your skin might look different. You might have the classic skin. You might have the, uh, I think it's called the Bonetto uh, skin. This is the modern skin. Uh, really won't make a difference whatever skin you want. Uh, well, there's a shortcut that you'll need to get to your options if you have the um, classic skin. Not a big deal, really. So this is basically it. You have your player, and then you have your playlist editor. And we've already got that loaded up with some songs to play. Um, so let's get started. So you have your information from your provider. They've given you uh, a, a server IP, uh, which could be an IP number or a domain name. Uh, they've given you a port number and they've given you a password. Once you have that information, uh, depending on the skin, of course, you want to click on options. If you don't have uh, this option to click on the menu item called options, go ahead and click on control P and that'll open up this next window, which is your preferences. And you'll probably come to a window that looks like this. So go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom, so you can't go anymore. And you're going to see something about four items from the bottom called DSP slash effect. So go ahead and click on DSP slash effect. And in here somewhere, you'll probably see something that says Nullsoft Shoutcast Source DSP version 2. Point whatever, whatever, bracket DSP underscore SC dot DLL. Go ahead and click on that, and that is going to open up your um, your DSP um, uh, for for the um, for the Winamp, and this is what we're going to configure. So you can go ahead and close this preferences window. Just click on close, and that'll leave this window open. Pretty simple setup. Uh, what you need to do is simply where it says address. This is where you're going to put that IP number you got or that domain name. So for this demo, uh, we have cp6.digistream.info. And your port number, you put in your port numbers. Ours for this demonstration is 008002. Do not worry about stream ID. Do not worry about user ID. And in your password, and again, I want to stress this, Make sure you manually type this information in. Don't copy and paste. Sometimes if you copy and paste, a blank space or blank character can actually come about, and you won't be able to know that in the password. So be sure you type it very carefully in there. So go ahead and type the password that you got for your server. Automatic reconnection on connection failure. You want to leave that checked off. If you happen to drop your stream for whatever reason, Winamp will, or the DSP, I should say, will try to reconnect to your server, in this case, every 30 seconds. Now, the server that you got is a version 1 server. Digistream sells version 1 servers at this time. Uh, if they do not sell version, if they sell version 2 servers in the future, uh, we will be sure to tell you that it's a version 2 server. But for now, uh, along with many, many providers in the world, we are only doing version 1. Unfortunately, um, players 
the newer brand players come with version 2 as the default. So we have to change it back to version 1. And that is what this next line is. Use Shoutcast V1 mode for legacy servers. So go ahead and click that. And what you'll see is where it says user ID and stream ID, it's grayed out. You can't do anything in there now. Okay. So you've got your address or IP number, your port number, your password. You've selected the automatic reconnection and you've got your server V1 mode on. Again, if you have a server 2, a version 2 server, uh, you don't need to check that, okay? And then you have other things you have to do. It's a stream ID and the user ID. So we're doing this for version 1. Make sure that this item right here is checked. Once you have that all done, go ahead and click on Yellow Pages. And what you want to do is, where it says Name, go ahead and put in your, name, your DJ name or your radio station name, whatever name you want, but put something in there. So we're going to head and say uh, Digistream Demo. Under the URL, you can put your website address if you want, or leave it the way it is. Under Genre, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to put Miscellaneous. Um, all this information you can send in. Send next title tracks to the server if available. I would keep that checked. That's just kind of letting the server know what the name of the song uh, is being played and the name of the artist, of course. So once you have that done, go ahead and click what says Make This Server Public if you want it to appear as a public server on the Shoutcast directory. If you keep it unchecked, it will not appear on the shoutcast.com directory. So go ahead and, and check that. And then click on the encoder tab here. Where it says encoder type, you want to drop it down. Select MP3 encoder. If you want to do an AAC encoder, go ahead and select the next one down, which is AAC encoder. But for this demonstration, MP3 encoder. Select your bitrate. Select whatever bit rate you want here. We're going to select 128.44.100. And then I'm going to go back to my connection tab because I, I really will never need to worry about this again. If I have my information correctly here, I probably won't need to worry about that again. I always want to make sure I have the right information here. And then I'm going to click on Connect. And as you can see, I am connected to the server and I'm already sending some bit rates. Uh, to the server. So I'm going to disconnect right now and it'll say not connected. So how do you play music doing this? It's actually quite simple. Um, you're basically going to click connect and you can see that you are streaming. Make sure you have music in your playlist editor and in this case I already have one in the player and just start playing music. I am now playing music on the internet if anybody were connected to this server, they would be able to hear this song playing. Now remember that there's a little cache that goes on, so it might take a while for them to hear it, just a few seconds, but they will be able to hear what I'm playing right now. When I'm done, I simply am going to stop the music and disconnect from the server, and I'm done. Click the X to close out of the DSP, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So I hope that helps you in setting up your Winamp DSP for a version 1 server. Check us out at digistream.info, digi-stream.info. We have some great deals going on there, and we strive to make your streaming experience a happy one.